News came of an unknown force decimated the White Fang operation in the docks. The attackers were precise and brutal, as it was evident that the dust shipment was untouched. Many of the White Fang criminals were butchered by some kind of powerful weapon as their remains were left in pieces. Collateral damage was minimum. A few broken creates, massive bullet holes in certain areas of the docks, and three reportedly stolen bullheads were sunk in the dockyard. Adam was fuming at the failure, and Cinder was enraged at the loss of resource. Roman was missing, so they made do with Neo. Meanwhile, Mater, Lacrimera. John was calmed down by the girls once again. John, I am sorry everyone. Pira, it's okay after what you were told. She looks to the lamenters in sorrow for their state. Only 11 out of 1,000 men remains of the entire chapter. John told his sons to watch over the girls as he went into the inner sanctum of the battle barge. He finds himself in the reclusi arch where he offered his prayers after the disciplinary practice. He went into another sacred place as he sees the Gene Seed Repository. He was greeted by a sanguinary priest, apothecary. Gabriel, is that really Eugene Sire? John, it is my son. Are these? Gabriel, all that remains of our great chapter. John, you have given the Imperium your loyalty, your love, and they mistreat you in the most disgraceful way. Gabriel, it is not for honor or glory do we serve, we serve the Imperium and its people. For we are angels all, and an angel is the protector of the innocent. John closed his eyes and looks away in shame for the burden he thrusted upon his children. John, I am a lousy father, in my confidence that if anyone could bear the burden of the thirst and the rage, I believe my children could, but that faith caused you nothing but pain. Gabriel, life is pain, but one day we will grant it rest either we fall in battle or when the battle is won. The father looks to his son proud, as a father could be. John, thank you for fighting the good fight, my son. He puts his fist to his chest and bowed to his father. Gabriel, it is an honor to hear you say that. John, the honor is mine for having such dutiful sons. John helped Gabriel take stock of the gene seed once it was done. He bid his farewell, and the apothecary continued with his duties. He then inspects the forge to meet with the Lamenter's Tech Marine. John, how goes the repairs? Tech Marine Mateo, by the Emperor. He knelt. John, I guess I need to get used to this. Rise Tech Marine, status report. Mateo, the engines are still overheated. We have it currently shut down and repairing it as fast as possible. Much of the damage during our warp travel has been repaired. I am currently helping with Venerable Brother Chirin with his maintenance. He looks up to see a dreadnought sarcophagus as he felt even more sad to see badly wounded Marines still serving. John, thank you, Brother Mateo, for all you have done. You've made me proud that my sons are gifted in many fields. Mateo, my lord, do you not have any armor? I could. John, no, I haven't undergone any modification. I doubt I will need my old armor soon or if father would transform me again. Mateo, as you wish. He returns to his friends, but it seems Roman is being interrogated by. Reclusio. Michaelis, are you sure that is the truth? Roman, yes. I said all that I know, please show mercy. John, that is enough. The Reclusi Arch looks to the angel and immediately saw visions that this was indeed their father, completely proving he is Sanguinius reincarnate. John, he broke? Ruby, yeah, all we had to do is just let this guy talk to him. Michaelis, I am Reclusi Arch Michaelis, and it was an easy task. This man is in fear for his life. His master threatened him with death along with someone he cares about. A little digging, and we were able to get all that you may need to save this new home of yours, father. John, thank you, Reclusiarch. You served the chapter well, as you were. He nods and moves to check on the Astartes for any signs of the thirst or rage. It seems that the defects have been suppressed for now. Weiss, who was that? John, Michaelis is part of the chaplaincy to maintain order and discipline within the Space Marine Legion, and with my condition is to search for anyone suffering the taint of my gene seed. Blake, you don't have to say it like that. John, it's true. Weiss, and if those with the affliction is found, John, they are to be evaluated on how far gone they are. Young, 
and if they are too far, John. They are sent to the death company to be sent to the most brutal of front lines to fight and finally die in the name of the Imperium. They were all horrified by that fact. John, it is better to die fighting our enemies than be put down like a rabid dog. Ruby hugs him seeing how this hurts him a lot. Kira followed suit and the rest joined. The Astartes present were all confused and awkwardly staring as it seems like they are seeing a more mortal side to their progenitor. John. Chapter Master Foros. You may detain Roman Torchwick, but do not harm him we are not that far gone to be savages. Foros thought about the flesh terrors and how they were at odds with that part of the chapter. John. He must not escape, but treat him accordingly. Foros. Yes, my lord. John. Brother Sergeant Yu, and your team rest for now. We need to lay low for a while, and an entire squad draws to much attention. Foros. Then take esteemed Brother Balthazar. We leave you without an escort. Then Brother Balthazar enters. Image by Daniel Irwin. Balthazar, it is an honor to serve. Father Sanguinius. John. All right, just don't attract too much attention. No shooting or punching anyone unless I say so. Balthazar, understood. John. Foros, we must go now. Foros. Understood a Thunderhawk is prepped and ready for you. John, Pira, and Team RWBY then returns back to Remnant to wait for now as the next set of events that needs intervention is not yet near. 